Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make an animated GIF that looks like this. It's actually pretty simple in Photoshop, and I don't think you'll have any problem. This is in response to Sergeant Mulliger of the 89th Infantry Division in Call of Duty. He would like a, a, a GIF for his form. So let's start by creating a new project. And the pixels will be 50 by 50. Be a nice small animated GIF file. Okay, let's go ahead and zoom in. Okay. Now let's go to the ellipse tool. Now when doing the ellipse tool, when you want to make a perfect circle, you press and hold shift on a Windows computer and drag out. Okay, so now you got your shape. Now we want to make a, um, a kind of reflection on the top. So come down here, new layer, create a new layer. Press control and select the shape. You see the ants around it. Um, now go to image, select, modify, nope, that wasn't it. Select, modify, contract. We're going to contract it by 5 pixels. Okay, this is actually making the um, like inner glow. So we'll work on the uh, reflection a little bit. Uh, then come over here to paint bucket, switch colors to white, go to select, modify, feather, feather it five pixels, and fill it in. Now, as you can see, it's kind of it's really bright. So Control Z and change the color to like a gray and then fill it in. Now it looks a little bit better. Okay, you can do that or you can create a uh, reflection on top. To do this, you will select the shape again after creating a new layer go to the box tool, press alt, and select all of it except for like the top quarter. Now the top quarter is the only thing selected, so you come over here to select, modify, contract, we're going to contract it 3 pixels, that might have been too much. We're going to contract it pixels and then feather it select modify feather this one will only do two pixels also now instead of using the fill in tool you're going to use the gradient tool come up here and select that one and select the color to be Hold down shift and drag from the top to the bottom. You can try to do this as many times as you want, trying to get the best look. That looks pretty good right there. Press control D to deselect. So now you have either a reflection on top or an inner glow. Whichever one suits you best. I'm going to do the reflection on top, because that's how mine looks. Okay. Now, you want the W. So now you got your orb. Now you want your W. So select the T, the text one. And drag for the whole orb. Select a 30 point, press type, or type capital W. Uh, I forgot, 
Let's change the color. Change the color to white. Enter. Okay, you can also change the text, the font, I mean, to any font you want. I'm going to choose, um, hobo. nice hobo looking thing okay so now you have your uh, orb and your letter you can change the layer styles for the letter if you want you can add a gradient overlay you can drop a shadow inner shadow basil and emboss you know whatever you want So there's your style. Um, in the next tutorial, I will show you um, GIF animation to get it to roll in and roll out.